Well, the Fed cut interest rates, but for some home potential, for some potential home buyers, it's still difficult to become a homeowner. I'm joined by Tamika Brewer, co-owner of Nuvo Realty Group. Hello. Hello, Latrice. Okay, so this is a topic, and it's been one, Tamika, for a long time. People talking about, I want to buy a home. I don't know if I'm going to be able to buy a home. Mm. The interest <clears throat> rates were cut, so for those in the market, should they wait a little longer? Should they go ahead and try to buy that home now? I would say now is the best time. It's always a good time to purchase a home because when the interest rates do go lower as the feds do decide to cut them, mm -hmm. we're gonna go back into that competitive um, thing that we did back in 2021, 20, 22, it was very competitive. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking about purchasing a home, now is the time to buy. So you, and one of the things that if they do, if the rates are a little high right now, you're saying that they can refinance. Absolutely, they can always refinance within a year. Okay. So if you're definitely looking, now is definitely the time to buy because sellers right now, they have a little room to give concessions or give credits. Mm -hmm. So definitely now is time to buy. Okay, and you have some tips um, that we wanna share with those who are in the market for a home. And so let's talk about this. First, you say finances. Right, so you wanna make sure that your finances are in order. You wanna make sure that you have a budget. You wanna make sure that you have money in the bank to be able to purchase a home. And then the other thing is identify the desired neighborhood. Um, and talk about that because before you just start, like you need to know what area. If you have school-aged kids, mm -hmm. Schools are always um, one of the main factors. Mm -hmm. So you want to identify that particular area if you are if you have kids in school, the schools that you want them to attend to. Okay, and then be ready to make a decision quickly. Yes, and the reason why we say that is because we know that the feds are gonna cut interest rates again this year. Mm -hmm. So that particular house that you want, it may not be there within the next 24 hours. So it is definitely, if you want it, go ahead and get it. Okay, and bid competitively. Yes, yes, and the reason why is because the market is very competitive right now. Um, just last week I had three people that was interested, or the realtor told me that three people have already bidding on this house, Tamikia. So it was a matter of telling my client, do we want to go ahead and shoot for it or do we want to try it? What do we want to do? Because we know that there are other offers on the table. Okay. And then work with a member of the National Association of Realtors. Absolutely. So you, work with someone who is certified and who's... Right. You want to work with a realtor. You want to work with someone who knows the area, who knows the market, and it's going to get the best, um, the best Thing for you and so one of the things too so you talk about though those are five tips to come in mind keep in mind if you are looking for a home now one of the things too we, as we switch topics a little bit you have been busy not only selling homes <laughs> out here but you are uh, making an appearance on HGTV tell us about that to me yes yeah, so I'm excited so um, I started this journey back in June. Actually, of course, I couldn't say anything to anybody about it, but I will be appearing on HGTV House Hunters, mm -hmm. and that will air on November the 6th at 10 p.m. And we have some of the pictures and the clips from there, and you could tell us a little bit about what we can expect to see on that segment. What you will expect to see is, we, we, I had an amazing time, first of all. It was amazing, and I'm truly blessed to have this opportunity. Um, so what you will see on this, you will see um, my clients. We go and tour three different properties and they make a decision on which house they want. Okay. All right. Well, we will, we will be watching that. And as we kind of wrap up, tell us a little bit for people who are just saying, well, okay, who is Tamikia Brewer? Um, how did you, tell us about your passion for real estate and why you got into this. The reason why I got into it, of course, before I got into real estate, I was working at Erlanger Health System. And just by doing that, I saw that it was a need in the community. It was a need to be educated on purchasing a home. So I've always had that passion to educate my community. Um, so literally one day I woke up and said, you know what, I'm going to get into real estate. <laughs> and you did. And I did. And it just happened. And I truly thank God for it. Um, this is something that I love. I'm passionate about educating the community. 
educating um, just anyone about purchasing a home because there's a lot of information that people don't know when it comes to purchasing a home. And that's such a, a big part of the American dream to own a home. Absolutely. For families. Yes. Absolutely. So absolutely. Well, Tamika, thank you so much for being here, sharing those tips and congratulations thank on your you. HGTV thank segment you. that thank will you. air on November the 6th yes. at 10 p.m. That is correct. Okay. And if people have questions, want to get in touch with you, there is your number there on the screen. Again, thanks for being here. Thank you so much, Latrice.